Hello and welcome to all my lovely people out there. Today we will start with a new chapter. So happy for it. Discount and Commission. Now this chapter plays a very important role in your day to day activities as well. Okay. When we plan to buy something. Okay. So let it be a watch or a new pair of jeans. We just go online nowadays and we search for discounts. Okay. Let it be Flipkart or Amazon or Mintra or whatever it being a girl, I am more interested into these things. Boys will be searching for watch, for any other gadget, electronic items and all. So you will go for offers. We are all in search of offer or in other words we call it as discount. Okay. And you may have seen or heard discounts are always given in percentage. 50% discount, 10% discount. What does this mean? This means 50% off or you have to pay less on the marked price of a commodity or any item. What is marked price? The price which is mentioned in the price tag. If you are planning to buy a pair of glares or spectacles uh, for you or uh, sunglasses, you will just look out for the marked price. Then just below, they will mention this much percent discount. So after discount, what is mentioned in the marked price, from that you have to pay obviously less. So one thing that you have to keep in mind is that marked price is the price marked on price tag. Okay. Whenever you go to a shop to buy, let us suppose a t-shirt, or a dress, you will first see the price tag. After you see the price tag, you will ask the shopkeeper, Bhai, a thoda discount do na, ha? Then he will say, okay, ha, kitna lena hai? Ek ya do? Like that they will ask, you know, these are the questions that we face. So the price which is marked on the price tag is called as marked price. Now maybe the shopkeeper may tell us, we will give you 15% discount, okay? So 15% Percent means always it is compared out of 100. 15 percent. Percent is always out of 100. Out of 100. Percentage is always out of 100. So 15 percent discount means what? He will give you a 15 percent discount on the marked price. For example, suppose the price of a shirt or t-shirt is 750 rupees. And he is saying that he will give you 15% discount. So this 750 is called as the marked price. The price which is mentioned on the price tag is called the marked price. Clear? 15% discount. That means how much money I paid to the shopkeeper. That amount is called as selling price or SP. Okay. So the price that I pay to the shopkeeper or the price that is deducted from your card is called as the selling price. Let us suppose the price of a t-shirt is or a shirt is, price of a shirt is 750. Now this is the money which is mentioned in the price tag. We call it as marked price. So marked price will become rupees 750. Understood? Now we will ask the shopkeeper, Bhaiya, thoda discount do So he will say, okay, uh, I'll give you a discount of 10%. Okay, we'll go for easy numbers. I'll give you a discount of 10%. So 10% is the discount percent. Percent discount is 10%. Now percentage is always compared out of 100. So 10% means it is 10 upon 100. If percent is given, it is always 10 upon 100. So, what is the actual discount that he is giving us? Let us calculate. So how will you ca calculate the actual discount? 10% means 10 upon 100 into the marked price. What was the marked price on the t-shirt or shirt? It was 750. So, we will write that 750 here. Now, 0, 0 cancel. 10 ones are 10 ones. Are. That means you got... A discount of 75 rupees. 75 rupees you have to pay less. So you got a discount of 75 rupees. Okay. So this way you will find out the discount. So discount we got 75 rupees. 75 rupees come So how much we will pay the shopkeeper? 
the amount that you pay to the shopkeeper is called as selling price. After discount, how much money you are paying the shopkeeper is called as the selling price. So, how will you calculate the selling price? Selling price will be marked price minus discount. Okay. What is mentioned in the price tag? Us say you will subtract the discount. How much discount you got? 75 rupees. So, what will be the selling price? The selling price will be, here I will write, mark price was 750. 750 ka t-shirt you got for 75 rupees less. So, it will be 10 minus 5, 5, 4, uh, 14, 7 and this is 6. Okay. So, you have to pay the shopkeeper only. So, the selling price 750 minus 75 you got. 675. So, is it profitable? You got a discount. You are paying less money as given in the price tag. That means you got a discount from the shopkeeper. So, it is so simple no, to calculate. Always remember when discount is given in percentage, you will write that whatever discount. Suppose it is 40%. So, 40 upon 100 into marked price. Okay, What was told before by the shopkeeper. So, that will give you discount. So, what discount? You will subtract it from the marked price. You will get the selling price. Okay. So, these are the formulas that you have to remember. Actually, there is no need to buy hard the formulas. It is understood that if you are getting a discount, that means marked price will be bigger. What you pay will be less. Discount will be What we are paying will be less. So, simple. So, now let us solve few numericals which are given in your textbook. Now, you can see in your textbook, there, there is let's recall. Okay, this you have done in your 7th standard. Let's recall. Write the appropriate numbers in the following boxes. Okay, so we will solve it. First question goes this way. 12 upon 100. Denominator 100. 12 upon 100 is nothing but 12%. Okay, your percent is already given. 12 upon 100 means it is 12%. When you are finding the percentage, you will multiply by 100. 12 upon 100 means 12%, which is equal to, if you are writing it in symbol, the percentage symbol is this way. Then, the second sum, 47%. So, how will you write this? 47% means it is 47 upon 100. 47 upon 100. Third question, 86% is equal to 86 upon 100. Simple? Then you have the fourth one, 4% 4 of 300. Now, what does this mean? 4%. 4% is given means it is 4 upon 100. Now, off means multiply sign. Off for multiply sign and 300. So, 4% of 300 means 300 ka 4%. 4 upon 100 into 300. So, if you solve that, 2 zeros, 2 zeros gone, 4 threes are 12. So, your answer will be 12. Yeah, they are asking for final answer also. So, you will write, where will you put the box? Here, 4 and for 100 you will put the box. 300 is given. When you solve that, you will get 12 as the answer. Easy? Huh. So, similarly, you get the answer for the fifth one. Pause and then check the answer. The fifth question is 15% of 1700. Percent is given means 15 upon 100. Of multiply sign 1700. You put the box where they have asked. 1700 is given. So box will come here. Now solve this. 2 0 down, 2 0 up gone. Find out the answer 15 into 17. Multiply and that will be your answer. Okay. So the final answer will be 15 into 17. 7 5 is a 35 carry 3. 7 10. 5 is a 5. 1 1 is a 1. Okay, so you got 255 as the answer. Done? So after this, let us come and solve the numericals of discount. 
sums related to discount. Always remember. Now, one question can come into your mind. Why do shopkeepers give discount? Why do they give discount? You may have seen that these discounts they give during several occasions. For example, when there, there are festivals, Christmas sale, Republic Day sale, some when they when there are holidays. So people may come in masses to purchase. I am, I have a store. In that store, I am keeping no sale. There is no sale in my store. I am giving no discount, no nothing. Okay. So, maybe 5 customers may come in one day. 5 customers may come. But if I keep a board outside, sale, 25% discount on selected items will be written in tiny letters. Okay? You might have seen, no, in malls also. We, we like a certain thing and we ask for sale. They say, no, ma'am, no, ma uh, this is new arrivals. Okay? This is new arrival. There is no sale on this thing. Sale is only for certain items. Okay. These are things we experience. So, if for one day only five customers came, but if I keep a board, sale board outside my store, maybe looking at that board, may I get 15 customers that day. Okay. So, I may give the product on a less rate. But I will get, suppose the cost of one sari was 500, uh, 500, 500 for easy calculation. Huh? So for 5 customers I got only this much, 2500. But even if I give a discount, even if I give a discount for 15 customers, 15 into 5, 75 and 00. Just see. I got a sale of 7500 minus whatever discount I gave. Suppose uh, for one person I gave a discount of 100 rupees. So 150 into 100 is 1500. So out of this minus 1500, 0006. Compare still I am in profit. I got 6000 rupees. Whereas without sale I could get only 2500. Okay, so for when you are keeping sale or when you are giving any discount, the people that are buying will be more. So obviously you will be gaining more money. Okay, so that is the reason. Now we will get into detail of this word called as discount by solving the sums. So be with me. Let's start with practice at 9.1. First sum, if the marked price is 1700, Selling price 1540. Marked price means the price which is mentioned on an item. After discount, how much money you are paying is the selling price. Okay. So, marked price is given as, we can write marked price as MP is given as rupees 1700. Selling price SP is given as 1540. Just compare. Price marked on the item was 1700, you are paying only 1540. You are paying less, that means you got a discount. So they are asking, what is the discount? So therefore, discount is equal to marked price minus selling price. Bigger number minus smaller number. So 1700 minus 1540. Subtract, 10 minus 4, 6, 6 minus 5, 1. So, you got a discount of 160 rupees. So, discount is rupees 160. Put it in a box. Over sum. Second question is, if the mark price is 990 and the percentage of discount is 10%, mark price is equal to rupees 990 Percentage discount is given. Always remember this discount is given on marked price. Mark price ke upar hota hai discount. Okay. Discount is given on marked price. Percentage discount given is 10%. 10%. And they are asking us to find out selling price is how much. How much money you will pay? Mark price minus discount. So, hum pehle discount find karte. Let us first find out the discount. So, therefore, discount is equal to 
this count is equal to whatever percentage is given 10 upon 100. It is given in percent means upon 100. 10 upon 100 into out of marked price. Marked price is 990. So 0, 0 gone, 0, 0 gone. So how much discount you are getting? 99 rupees discount. 99 rupees you have to pay less than this. So write the next step. Therefore, discount is equal to rupees 99. Therefore, discount is equal to rupees 99. This much is the discount. Therefore, selling price is equal to mark price minus discount. Mark price minus discount. How much is the mark price? 990. Discount mila 99. Ka. Subtract 10 minus 9, 1. 8 minus 18 minus 9 is 9. And this will be 891. So selling price you got 891 rupees. Simple. Ha. So you got the concept clearly. Mark price will be bigger. If you are getting discount, mark price hamesha zyada hoga. So this way you can check whether your answer is correct or not. Percentage is given means that number upon 100. Okay. Now let's see the third question. Selling price is 900. What I gave is 900. Discount is 20%. Find the mark price. Now this is a very important question. A different question. Mark price is not given. So we will use a technique to find out this mark price. So we have a very special sum here. Mark price we don't know. So you will use this method when you don't know the marked price. And discount is given in percentage. No? Otherwise we could have added. Suppose the selling price was given as 100. Discount was given as 5 rupees. 5 rupees, huh? not in percentage. Selling price 100. I paid 100 rupees. Discount mujhe mila 5 rupees. So what was the marked price? This you will get it very easily. No, I got a discount. So obviously mark price will be more. So what will be the mark price? 100 plus 5. 105. Huh? But in this sum, you don't know discount. You have discount percentage. Discount is not given in rupees, it is given in percentage. Okay, so that's why this sum is different. So if you want to find out mark price and discount is given in percentage, you will use this technique. Okay, very easy technique. After I teach you, you will be able to solve any sum. Okay, so be along with me. So this was just to explain how the sum is different. So, let's start the solution. Be with me. Let us first assume that the mark price is 100 rupees. Okay. So, let the mark price be rupees 100 respectively. Okay. We are taking permission. Let the mark price be 100 rupees respectively. When will you do this method? When you don't know the mark price and discount is given in percentage. Okay. And everything given in percentage you are comparing it out of 100. So I used mark price as 100 rupees. First step understood. Let the mark price be 100 rupees respectively. Therefore, what will be the discount? For 100 rupees, whatever is given discount in percentage, that you will write directly in rupees. Let the mark price be 100. So the discount for this 100 is 20 rupees. We are comparing it with 100. Understanding? First we will assume let the mark price be 100. Whatever discount is given in percentage, no? That we will take as rupees for 100 rupees mark price. So discount is 20 rupees. So therefore, what will be the selling price? Can you find out the selling price for these two values? Mark price 100. 100 hai, discount mila 20 rupees. So, what will be the selling price? Mark price minus discount, no? 
that much will be the selling price that much money we will give so mark price was 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 uh, so for this much example we got the selling price as 80 rupees highlight it i recap let us assume that the mark price is 100 rupees the discount we will assume as 20 rupees percent given so we will assume as 20 rupees so what will be the selling price selling price will be mark price minus discount 100 minus 20 80 rupees now we will make two columns okay one for marked price and one for selling price this is the easiest method okay so after this you will make two columns in your book mark price and selling price now say along with me. When the mark price was 100 rupees, how much was selling price? Your calculation was here, no? When the marked price was 100 rupees, how much was selling price? 80 rupees. So here I will write 80. Side by side. Now you don't know the mark price, so that I will suppose as X. Let the mark price be X. Selling price is given as 900 Correct? This is what we assumed. We got the selling price 80. This is the actual question. Mark price I don't know. So I will write X. How much is the selling price? 900 given. Now what we will do is we will cross multiply. Okay? So therefore, put therefore, 100 into 900 is equal to 80 into X. Let X be here. Take 80 to the opposite side. Multiplication will become division. So therefore 100 into 900 upon 80 is equal to x. Solve it. 0, 0 gone. 9, 3 zeros upon 8 is equal to x. Can you divide? Yes, let us divide. 8 ones are 1 and 0. 8 ones are 2 and 0, 8 2s are 16, 4 and 0, 8 5s are 40. So, how much you got x? x you got as 1, 1, 2, 5. What was x? x was marked price. So, final answer you will write. Marked price is rupees 1125. Understood? Here, one, one more step you could have written. Let the mark price be x respectively okay ah, because here we have already supposed 100 so i did not write here you can write this one more step here understanding ah, maybe first time you may face little problem but as we solve more sums it will be easy for you so we got the mark price as 1125 rupees mention the denotation okay now let us move on to the fourth question. The mark price of fan is 3000 rupees. Write down mark price of fan is equal to rupees 3000. Then shopkeeper gave 12% discount. Percent discount. Huh? Percent discount means it will be 12 upon 100. For the time being we will write. 12%. But we know 12% means 12 upon 100. 12% discount shopkeeper gave. Find the total discount and selling price of the fan. So two question. Find the discount also. Question mark. And selling price also. So how much money customer gave after getting the discount. That also we have to find. And we have to find the discount very easy sum because here mark price is given. Okay. So let's solve. Solution. Discount is equal to. What will be the discount? What is given in percentage? 12 upon 100. Itna discount kis me mila? This discount is on mark price. So 12 upon 100 into mark price is 3000. Then. So 12 upon 100 into 3000, solve 2020 gone, 12 threes are 36 and 0. Is this the selling price? No, this is the discount. 
So how much discount he got? Discount is equal to 360 rupees. Highlight it. You got the answer for the first question. Discount kitna mila? 360 rupees. Now how much money he will pay to the shopkeeper after cutting the discount? So therefore, selling price is equal to, write that formula, mark price minus discount. Selling price is mark price minus discount. Mark price was 3000 for the fan. 3000 was told by the shopkeeper. Then he gave discount. So, kitna mean, how much money was the discount? 360. Subtract that 360. 0 minus 0, 0. 10 minus 6, 4. 9 minus 3, 6. And this is 2. So, selling price is equal to 2640 rupees. Final answer, write in statement. Discount rupees 360 and selling price of fan is rupees 2640. Simple? Okay. When mark price is given, just you have to apply the formula and get the answer. I hope you all are understanding children. If you are understanding, please comment, like and also share it with your friends, those who are in need, so that I will get more motivation to make maths videos for you.